Hi YouTube, just walking the Malvern Hills. Um, today is, I think it's the 19th, 19th of February. Yeah, um, on a, I don't know, Tuesday, no, Monday. Um, about halfway up the hills. Um, yeah, about halfway up. You see Breeden Hill over there by Persia. Um, that's near Persia and Evesh and Breeden Hill. And you can see Bristol over there somewhere. Down that way. Oh, sorry, hey. Um, and Worcester over that direction. Um, yeah, so just having a relaxing walk up here. Actually, if I, at the moment, I'm finding it easier than going to the gym, to be honest, because I, I have quite intense sessions at the gym. I run about 12 kilometres an hour for 15 minutes, and then I do level 25, between level 22 to 12 to level 25 on the cross trainer for 15 minutes. And on the bike, I do uh, level 25, which is the highest level. Um, and obviously, I have to stand up to do that and cycle. Um, so at the moment I find it rather easy, um, but I thought I'd come up here to give it a change from going to the gym all the time. Probably only had about six hours sleep last night because um, the post came really early this morning. And Daniel came in to collect to collect the posters to collect the post to get the post this morning, but I still woke up. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So. I thought I better start filming now because it's gone. It's just gone four o'clock, I think. Um, and it's going to start getting dark soon, so I better start filming now. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit muddy. In my new shoes, I bought off Daniel. Well, the Daniel shoes, but I bought them up a couple of weeks ago. I'm a bit worried about him at the moment, to be honest, because um, <coughs> because we was well, I was running on the treadmill yesterday, no, two days ago, uh, and Daniel was walking fast on the treadmill, and he had it inclined a little bit as well, and he just fell, and he fell, he fell over, and um, and obviously the treadmill pushed him off the edge of it. Um, and then he's telling me today he's, he he has um, blackouts sometimes. So I'm a bit worried about that really. Yeah, so that's uh, that's not a good sign. I told him to go to the doctor, so I hope he does. Um, so hopefully he'll go to he'll book an appointment with the doctors. But our doctors enjoy it with his shit, so. <laughs> You ring them up and they say, is it an emergency? That's the first thing they say. If you don't say hello, they say, is it an emergency? And you're like, if it was an emergency, I'd ring an ambulance. <laughs> so, you can never get an appointment with our doctors. <laughs> but hopefully we'll be able to do it. Because it, is, it does sound serious, him having blackouts. So, oh, another runner behind me. Uh, yeah, so. I don't know where the stand's not much room. Yeah, so I'm worried about him, you know. Because uh, that's not good, really. Uh, I just could pass. Hey. <laughs> 
Yeah, so hope, hopefully he'll get that checked and he'll be all right, hopefully. Uh, we got our hair cut the other day. I'm not sure how that looks. Walking up to Worcestershire, Worcestershire Beacon, I think it is. No, is it? No, no, this is the North Hill. I walk up to the Beacon, is the next one down. Um, I prefer walking up to this hill because it's quieter, well, at least apart from the windows. What oh, shit is on my seagull earlier? And Daniel was like, oh that's good, luck, you should play the luck, you should play the luck. I'm like, oh, you think it's good luck? <laughs> I have to go back and get change. <sighs> Luckily it landed on my coast, not my clothes. I've <sighs> <clears throat> got some sandwich. We've got a prawn sandwich and uh, cashew nuts and a milk. Even though I did stop eat, I did stop eating prawns because Daniel was saying, you know, them little black dots is actually the shit coming out of the prawn. <laughs> so, excuse my French. <laughs> so I did stop buying prawns, but. I don't know, I just fancy some fish, because I don't know what it is. Um, could be the weight training maybe, it's making me crave fish, because I know fish is very good for people who do weight training. <coughs> oh god, it's getting muddy. My shoes are getting muddy. I've got the personal trainer tomorrow um, at fit, uh, um, Fitness Space Drawbridge. I get one session every month. No, two. Yeah, one session every month. Um, I've been trying to avoid him actually because <laughs> he's quite bossy, but I've got a different one this time. Because I asked for a different one. Uh, what they like to do is they like to put me on the treadmill for, I think, 10 minutes. And they put me on fast walking and then they for two minutes. No, they put me on slow walking for two minutes, then fast walking for two minutes, and then slow jogging for two minutes. Oh, take a deep breath. And then fast walking again, and then walking again. And I'm like, as soon as I go on the treadmill, I like to start running straight away for the full 15 minutes. I don't like to like, stop and then start and stop and stop, stop and stop, stop and stop. So. That's why I've been avoiding the, the uh, coach because he's like, he, he's like, do this or do that or do this or do that. So. <clears throat> it's quite good actually, the, the um, Joint Ridge Fitness, for, uh, no, fitness space. Uh, opposite card factory. It's quite good because um, the price is quite reasonable. I mean, I've paid for the year, uh, which is two nine nine. It works out about twenty four, twenty five pound a month. Um, plus, you get um, a fitness session. You get a, a personal training session every month, and they go for your plan and set you a new plan if you want a new plan and everything. Um, so it is quite good um, and the other gym I'm not sure whether I mentioned this already on YouTube but the other gym in Joy which is open 24 hours now um, yeah, I, th I think I've already said that actually yeah. <coughs> looking 
bothered to eat my sandwich in a minute. And I'm going to try not to think about prawns taking shits while, <laughs> while I'm eating the sandwich. I'm going to try not to think about that because how do you know when you're eating meat that you're not eating the shit out of the animals? Like chicken, for instance. Like, like uh, my friend Lee was buying chicken the other day in Morrison's. And you could see the butthole of the chicken and I was thinking, and you're eating that and there could be like, there could be like dried shit on it or anything. So I'm thinking, plus prawns are way, way smaller than chickens. So. <coughs> I think if you thought like that, you'd never eat anything. Um, I mean, I eat quite, I eat quite a variety of foods, whereas a lot of vegetarians are maybe a bit more stricter than I am. Um, I like to eat fish, although I am fussy with my fish. Yeah. I can't stand sardines, yuck. Um, I like tuna, I like salmon. Cod I'll occasionally eat with chips. Cod and chips is nice occasionally. You know what, I must be hungry because I'm talking about food. <laughs> I think right at this minute, I think my favourite meal would be a cone of chips, a cheese and onion pasty, and a curry sauce with maybe a touch of chilli sauce on top. Because at this minute, I'm feeling really hungry. <laughs> there's no point in just eating a there's no point in just eating a pineapple a day. So I might as well enjoy everything that came down from heaven. I enjoy everything that came down from God. But I do think a lot of animals are treated badly for the sake of people to eat meat. And that is the main reason why I stopped eating meat about 10 or more years ago. I stopped eating meat because I think it's cruel how they treat the animals. Um, I mean, even eggs I'm a bit picky on. I have to eat the eggs that are not, that the chickens aren't kept in cages, like free range eggs. Um, and I try and get organic food if I can, if I can find it. I try and look for a lot of the foods I buy on eBay, especially are organic. I like, I like organic goji berries, which is a, a Tibetan Japanese superfood um, and I like a lot of nuts and I don't mean that in a sexual way either so don't even go there chatting away to myself on YouTube as usual talking about a load of bollocks or something I don't know Oh, I'm going to sit on this bench and eat my sandwich. Whew. As you can see, I'm a little bit out of breath now, but not too much. Uh, I remember that. I remember that steep hill there. Daniel doesn't come up here. He says he will once he starts going to the gym. Right? But I want his health to. I want him to get his health looked at as well. But I've said to him, I think going to the gym's got to be more healthier than not going to the gym. So I still think he should go to the gym. But it's not for me to say he needs to speak to a doctor or he needs to speak to his personal coach, and they can advise better than I can. <laughs> 